There's a, there's a young girl with a gun, and she just went back in the house. They better get somebody out here quick. They were arguing, and the young girl shot this girl. Well, those are the last moments of 17-year-old Jace O'Neill's life after she was shot and killed Monday night, and a 16-year-old girl is charged with her murder. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Earlier this evening, a vigil was held at Hilliard Bradley High School to honor her life. 10 TV's Richard Solomon was there. You can never prepare for a final goodbye. That pain is something I'm going to have to carry with me for the rest of my life. A goodbye they wish they never had to say to Jace O'Neill. Police say Jace was shot and killed Monday evening by 16-year-old Mariza Thomas. Her death shattering Jeffrey Sutherland's heart. When I found out, I, I just I broke down. I cried. But even feeling this pain, he couldn't help but smile. Jace was, Jace was that, that goofy friend, you know, she, she, no matter what the situation was, she could be upset, she always had a smile on her face. And her smile is what many made sure you knew about during a vigil at the Hilliard Bradley High School tennis course. Jackson Limley said because that's what she would have wanted. The happy moments, man, just having fun with Jace. It's all of us being happy together. Some shared poems, while others shared those moments they'll never let go. Jace was like basically my other sister I never had. She always used to come with us to family trips. She'd eat dinner at our house every night, sit on the couch, play Mario Kart, you feel me? These are just some of the lives she touched. And Jace's friends might have said goodbye tonight, but they'll remember her smile forever. I love you, Jason. Rest up and please look over us. Reporting in Hilliard, Richard Solomon, 10 TV News. Now the suspect, Mariza Thomas, had her first court appearance today. She will be back in court next week.